What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. So, people, long time to see. You know who it is. The intro I showed you and gave you a clue to who I am, so. No sense in uh, debating that issue. Today, of course, I'd like to apologize. We got my little scruffiness going on in summertime. So, the ladies kind of like her, so I gotta do what's best, to interest, what's best for the interest of like, me. So, let's go in. Today, I'm gonna talk about the communist known as Black Folks Part 2. When I did the video earlier, Say how black people are communist. And deep down the side they are. Black folks are the biggest communists because they want to tell you how to spend your money on them for the greater good, but yet they don't spend none of their money on the greater good of our own people either. If you had it, well, then their justification is, well, you have it. I don't. Like, how do you keep clothes on your back, bro? How do you eat? How do your kids eat? And I made a video about that, and a couple of people were getting all sensitive, and we had discussions, excuse me. So, I'm making another video because it's the truth. And this is part two. This is the Jordan LeBron James thing. Where, if you went on Facebook or any other type of social media things, they're making a big deal because LeBron is investing his money, I guess, in uh, the local schools and like people get GEDs, stuff like that. Whereas Jordan decides to invest. Now, now see, listen to the words I'm using, people. Invest. Jordan decides to supposedly in, in uh, private prisons. Now, people were calling Jordan a sellout because well, there's a lot of black people in private prisons. No offense. It's purely business. If you don't know what a business move is, you have no business talking about it. Me personally, I don't care what George, George can invest in, you know, the KKK, you know, company that makes their clothing. I can care less. That is Jordan's money. He's a businessman, and unfortunately for a lot of black people in this economy, they don't understand the economy, period. Then they're going to bend it, and then there are those who say, well, well, you, you know what the white man's calling me, or yada yada. Well, let me tell you something, folks. If they were in control, they would do the same thing. They would deal with an offshoot of the white man's economy. But it's okay for them to do it because they're soul brothers and they just talk about doing something. Whereas if you want to do something, you just want to do it, you want to criticize it. But me personally, I donated to the church, I donated to the library, I donated, you know, I, I donated with the. Shit, knowing that I'm going to get my money back because I didn't care. I don't, that's a donation. But then you got these commie black folks that want to tell you how to spend your money. Well, you need to give me some. And that's the first thing they say. Give. Like, hand out. And I tell them, I'm not the government. I'm not going to give you money to sit around and while you're doing, not doing anything. That's why these athletes went broke. That's why all these entertainers were broke, giving money away instead of giving a return on their investment. Well, with the black folks known as the commies, there is no return on your investment. You gotta give your money away to the greater good. They want you to, like, the, their, their, their biggest thing is, well, why don't you uh, put money into the hood? No offense. The government's putting money into the hood. And you see what that's resulting in. It's resulting in young getting pushed back to the suburbs. Well, let me stay on top of it. Jordan is a businessman, LeBron, in this term, is a businessman. They, they invest their money in different things. Now, maybe someone showed you Jordan a portfolio of how the prison, uh, private prisons, the profits are going to you know, escalate in maybe five years of prospectus, and they, he ran with that. I don't know. I don't know, but I just know that's his money. 
Well, let me come to me and want him to spend his money on you. And then here's your, here's the weakest argument I ever heard. Well, we bought his shoes. So? Don't buy his shoes. No, he told you to buy his shoes. You bought you, you bought his shoes, but you want to be one of the top ones in the ghetto. And, and like, once you get out together, you realize, shit, shoes are shoes. It is what it is. Jordan is a businessman, and that's all he's looking at as. What brother businessman is looking at that? Now, people get to jump on the Jordan, Jordan's back to the Oh, you need to invest your money in, in the education. Why shouldn't he if he don't have to? It's his business. You wanna know why? Because it's the black books? No, that's communist. Part two. Alright, now I'm out. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.